Hi everyone and welcome back. We're just about to head into episode 8 of True Calling. Again, these are more or less just standalone episodes. I do feel like they might be trying to put a bit of groundwork into this now, in terms of True's love life, her brother and her best friend's love lives, and the inclusion of her ex being the latest victim. But yeah, you can really look at these as just standalone. There isn't too much of a narrative Yet, I feel as if it's just bobbling under the surface, and the halfway point is where I think we'll start to get more groundwork. I just said, let's just react to this, shall we? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want full reactions to this and other shows, please follow my Patreon, that will be in the description box below. <laughs> I have good friends. Cute boy who I can almost call my boyfriend. It's not like you really have a choice. I don't think those people will take no for an answer. Mm. Well, just out of curiosity, who else have you told about what you can do? Just my brother. Not that he believes me. I wonder where her sister is. is. We haven't seen her for quite a few episodes now. Anyone else? But somewhere there's someone who's going to be very grateful for what you can do. Maybe even today. Oh, wow, well, look who it is. Is it terminal? What the hell was that? He had a gun. Hi, look. Oh, look who's in it. Hello, True, it's your father. Mm. It's been a while, but I'd like to talk to you when you get the chance. You know where to reach me. That was really Bye. suspicious that all of a sudden he came back into her life after speaking to Davis. Dad called you too? I didn't call him back yet. I will, just a little later though. Can you believe that or something? He doesn't talk to us in ages. And when he does, all he wants to do is criticize. I wonder what he would have said to me. Just so we can finally have our night alone. That's great. Uh -oh. But there's a small problem. Train derailment. Shut down all routes up and down the entire seaboard. Hmm. Get a job. Oh well. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I would not hire him. He would be gone straight away. That really got to him, huh? Yeah, well, not enough to keep him from totally tanking the interview. Yeah. Same old thing. Wore the wrong thing, said the wrong thing, didn't even bring a resume. Who's that? Oh, wait, does she like him? Are they going to be a couple? Oh no, the day's gonna so, start uh, over, John isn't it? Was literally wrapped around his left ventricle and uh, oh, I've never seen Don't talk about work when yeah, you're on a date. Uh, not to mention they gave me directions. Adlands? Not if I wanted to go to Cleveland. Look, I, I know we're both looking forward to tonight, but it doesn't look like I'm getting home before dawn. Uh, time of death? Tony, I'm on the dot. Slight jurisdiction problem, otherwise we would have had him sooner. It looks like a clean shot. Probably died instantly. Girlfriend? I need you. See, they've changed it now, so I need you. And invented ways in how to get the corpse to speak to her. <laughs> Who is that? True. Can't make breakfast. No surprise there. Oh, and she said not to stop by the morgue later. Stop by the morgue? Why would she think I'd ever stop by the morgue? I know she's trying to change parts, but sometimes she does make it worse. I know for a fact there's one that leaves in half an hour. It's impressive. He didn't even ID her. 
She's gonna get in so much trouble for this. I told you, I've done that for four days already. I think I should see the doctor. Smoker? Once in a while. Could have DVT. You might want to do an ultrasound, that's just me. Oh yeah, I forget that she's training to be a doctor. She so would know all of these things. Jake, let her go. I told you, I just gotta get out of here. Yeah, but what he's doing now makes it worse. Take it easy. Because he'll lose his his job, his ranking, he's gonna go to jail. I'm not sure I'd say that. Why? He's dying. So we don't find him too? Next time you see him, he'll be dead. Oh. I save a guy from dying only to learn he could be dead by the end of the day. Unfortunately, once the symptoms set in, shortness of breath, sweating, it's only a matter of hours. Even if I find him before the embolism kills him, there's no guarantee he'll survive the surgery. Okay, let's just let's just think. You a girl like Mary's never good for a guy like me. You really liked her, huh? Yeah. I may regret. He didn't even know her. Take notes, because I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about my sister. I love her animals. I love all kinds. Uh, dogs, cats. I adore horses. She's just not interested. So True did a pretty good job, huh? Telling you exactly what to say. Well, let me tell you something True doesn't know about me. I don't want a guy to be just like me. They left. Hey, you that nurse. In the hospital. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm alone. And the telegram shows up. She said she never wanted to see me again. What was said to her? Done. I called, but her number was changed. He's holding on to a memory. And that's all it is right now. Of course, now she's gone. Can't find her anywhere. Just so it doesn't happen again, could you do me a favor and confirm that you have the correct forwarding address? Yes. <sighs> 49, Good going, true. Thanks very much. Laughs. A lot of laughs, Marjorie. But uh, seriously, passion, sincerity. Okay, here we go. One thing I like to call Persistence. Unique? Uh, maybe not. It's me, True Davies. No, I can't say that. New nose. And I lost like 20 pounds too. Don't be embarrassed. You wouldn't be the first. <laughs> true. Yes, of course. Yes, One she's so true. smart. True. True. You're not really a nurse, are you? What, what makes you say that? Some sort of angel. Angel. Wrong. You sent him a telegram. You told him not to contact you. What? Telegram? I don't know what he's told you, but... After that, it's anyone's guess. I'm so sorry, Jake. For what? I was supposed to help you. You wanted to see her, and I couldn't do what you asked. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that. You tried. It's not your tried. fault. I failed. All the time. time. I didn't join the army. We never would have been stationed here. We never would have met Bridget. Hey, why don't you come meet me so we can celebrate? I can't make it tonight, but congratulations, Harry. Not sure how you knew, but thanks to you, she offered it to me on the spot. That's great. I'm so happy for you. And thanks to me, I turned it down. Now screw the guy if you can't love me for who I am. You look 
fine. Promise me, Brent. Just say it. Take care of her. Oh no. Look at his t-shirt. You ever think I would? Uh, no. Never. I want you to know I'm doing okay. I have a new job. I guess you could say I help people. So, good night, Dad. I hope you're happy and well because I am. From now on, mm. you're going to have to try to find me because suddenly... That was True Calling episode 8. That was a beautiful episode. It was very jam packed, so there was a lot to digest. And this really did actually start to cement more of a narrative. I don't think for one second her father is just going to disappear. It seems as if he's now going to make an appearance. This episode was about letting go about not holding on to the past. Jake knew he was going to die. That's why I could tell it was a subplot, his story, because he died very early on. And I don't think it was ever about saving him. It was about letting him enjoy those last few moments of his life. That he had a son and that the woman he loved, Emily, loved him back. She never forgot him, even though what her dad did was wrong. It was thanks to True, that she got the closure she needed. As hard as it will be to move on, she now knows she has her son to live for. And he got, Jake got to see his son. And sometimes that's all you need. And just little moments throughout it as well. Davis and Meredith are just not a match. But at least he found out sooner rather than later. Oh, she's very shallow, Meredith. But she's also not a bad character. I mean, it was nice to see her in the show again because she's been absent. But Harrison, I want to like his character, but he's written in such a way that you're not supposed to like him. But I need some layers to him. He could have got that job. He could have been settled down from his nine to five. He could stop hiding and running. But that's all he's been doing since his mum has died. And eventually it's going to catch up to him. And with True, she's too hard on herself. She, she needs to let go of always being in control. And understanding that she can't save everyone. The point of her powers is not to save everyone. It's to make sure there's closure for them. And that's what every single time she's done, she's brought closure to them. While helping the people around her to a degree. I thought this just... Beautifully, the whole episode was really well done. This is my favourite episode of True Calling. I think it was a big step up from any of the other episodes. And this season really is starting to find its foot in. I just, it's a shame that it doesn't really last beyond this and a bit of season two. I think if it had been given more time, it would have done pretty well for itself. It would have got quite a following. I'm just going to leave the episode for where it is. And I hope you stay safe and well, and I will see you next Monday for True Calling.